Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Saturday, June 29, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from John 14, 27. And it says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Amen. Thank God for this word. It is reassuring to know that God always have our back. And he always seems to know what to say at the right time. You know, when the world speak about peace, their peace is extremely flawed. And we still are troubled with our, within ourselves because what? The peace that the world gives, the assurance that the world gives, it only causes more pain, more stress, more worry, more fear. But here God is saying that I can give you peace. In fact, I leave with you my peace. Peace to know that I will be with you always. Peace to reassure you that I will provide for your need every day. Peace to remind you that I have gone to prepare a place for you and I will come again and receive you and take you to that place. And so we are admonished that we should not be troubled. We should not allow fear to creep up on us and to consume us because God has us and he have our best interests at heart. And so in spite of everything that is happening around us, in spite of everything that might happen to you or might not be happening to you, you can trust God to take care of it for you. You have nothing to worry about. He says that he give us the peace that passeth all understanding. And even if you are in shackles, even if you are surrounded by your enemies, even if your burden is so heavy that it seems to want to crush you, you can still find peace. When you have no food, you can still have peace. When you have no money, you can still have peace. When you're feeling sick, you can still have peace because you know that everything that is happening to you, God is able to fix it because he is and he is the only one who has the power to do so. Amen. And so even as I think about this reading this morning, I remember Paul and Silas in prison. They had peace. They were in chains. They were in shackles. They were thrown in jail for doing what was right, for standing up for the word of God. And those men break out in singing, start a praise and worship session while they were in prison. No, you would imagine that maybe they would be sulking and probably be crying and fretting how they, they are in prison and the innocent and all of these things no they are there giving bible study praise and worship because what they have peace this peace that god is speaking about here they have it and so they understand that god is able to take them through the situation that they are in and he can even deliver them which he eventually did and so what am i saying to you i am saying to you that accept god peace because when you have his peace nothing will trouble you you will have the peace that will just make your life that much easier because your confidence would have been placed in god who is able to take you through the troubled waters and so this morning i give to you god peace i leave with you god peace and i leave with you is assurance to take care of you and so i encourage you don't let your heart be troubled don't worry about it it's gonna be okay and don't be afraid the way is clear for you to move forward step out in faith and claim that blessing in jesus name amen